Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you a little haul of some wax melts and it's kind of like a continuation off of my last wax melt haul from Walmart. I bought some more and I also got um, something from Hobby Lobby that I'll show you. My uh, candle warmer and then a, a new melter. So, um, well actually that's not from Hobby Lobby. Anyway, um, let's just get, <laughs> let's just get into it. This can't be a long video because my battery's gonna die on my camera. Okay, so I will show you Hobby Lobby first. I went and I bought one of the original candle warmers. This was, um, I was like searching online for a candle warmer um, because I have to melt fewer candles and I have to burn fewer candles and melt more candles and I'll get to that in a second. But um, this was originally $4.99 online. It said it was like $2.50 because they were 50% off of like their candle accessories or like melters and stuff like that um, as long as they were $4.99 and up. So I ended up getting this um, warmer which has a pretty short cord I might say. Um, it's like really short uh, and this was like $2.50 plus tax. It's working really well. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to do just because like this is the plate obviously but it's like pretty cheap thin plastic. I feel like I could step on this and break it. Um, so I wasn't really sure how it was going to do, but I, it's been working pretty well. The only thing that I can say that's negative about this is the fact that you're, you're melting it from the bottom up. So you're melting, 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 and you see like a pool of wax at the bottom and it slowly gets bigger as your like wax starts to melt, but you don't actually get scent from it until that like warmer melts the top layer of your candle. So if you have a pretty full candle, it's going to take a really long time. So in my opinion, this is probably better for like candles that are half empty or less, you know. Um, I bought this because I need to burn fewer candles for my own health. And I've been suffering from a lot of really bad health problems in the last five or six months. And we're trying to eliminate things that could be causing it. And it's a long story and I'm not going to get too much into it, but I did say, you know, like that I burn a lot of candles and I, they wanted me to clean my fan. So I cleaned my fan and it was disgusting. It was so covered in soot that I don't even want to even think about it. It was so bad. Um, I would show you guys on camera, but it was honestly so embarrassing, <laughs> like embarrassing how much soot was on my can, uh, or my fan. So I, I haven't even fully like cleaned it to the max like unscrewed it and taken it apart and everything but I cleaned all over it and it was just it was a rude awakening so I have to burn fewer candles and I sleep with a fan on so that's why I have a fan that's like all dirty because I sleep with a fan on and it's just sick to know that sorry about that um I think I was saying that I, it's sick to know how much soot I'm breathing in um so um I don't keep my fan on all the time. I sleep with it on, so I only turn it on at night. That means that it's circling air around and somehow getting trapped in that fan overnight when I don't have a candle burning at all. So that just makes me think it's just like sitting in the air. I don't really know, but it's just disgusting to me that so much was trapped in there. So anyway, because of that, I decided I want to um, melt more candles and burn less of them or at least maybe just burn the top half and melt the bottom. Um, and then I also started burning a pumpkin sugar cookie candle. I don't know if you guys saw my candle collection, but I have like five, six, seven. I'm not even really sure how many I have of that. I know I have at least six. And I started melting one because I thought, you know, I have that many. Why do I have that many? I should start burning one. And to me, excuse me, it's a little bit spicy, but not too much of a fall scent. It's more of like a really strong sugary bakery scent to me with like a little bit of spice. So it didn't matter to me that it was like out of season, like the marketing season. I wanted to burn it. Well, it smells like fire when it's burning. So it smells like something is burning down. Um, so I can't, I don't know if all, they're all going to be like that. I'm crossing my fingers that they're not, but I can't, I can't burn it because it smells like my house is on fire. So, um, melting it has worked really well. Um, it's the first candle I've used to melt with this and, um, worked like a charm and it, brings out a lot of the scent like it's really strong when your entire candle uh is like giving off scent you know like instead of like when you burn a candle it only gets like a certain 
um, wax, like certain size wax pool, but this is going to be your entire wax pool. So, I mean, you're burning or melting through them faster, but it's a really strong scent. So, I, I don't know. I kind of like it because it makes it really intense. Um, so that's all I have to say about that. I should go get another one of these, but I just don't know if I need it. I don't know. I mean, it's cheap, yeah, but I just don't know if I need it right now because I'm going to be melting with my warmer. I have a plain Glade porcelain warmer. Um, it's just a plain, like, round base with, like, just a plain, <laughs> like, round top. Um, but I did get this one from Walmart. It's a long story why I got it, and I'll try and make it as um, fast as possible. My sisters buy and sell stuff on like Facebook garage sale sites. I don't know if your town or city has them, but my younger sister sells and buys and stuff, sells baby stuff that's like related to her kids. My older sister sells her own stuff, but my older sister's more into it and has actually had people go out of their way to like say, hey, can I have you sell stuff for me and I'll give you a percentage of the sales. So my older sister came across a Scentsy warmer, you know, from one of the things that she's selling for this person and asked if I wanted first dibs on it. And I said, yes. Yeah. So it was only eight bucks. So I bought it. But my younger sister said she actually wanted it. So she said she preferred because it's an actual like Scentsy brand. So I think it's worth more. She said that she would buy me a brand new one if I gave her that Scentsy one. And um, she's I think she's not going to use it for herself. I think she's using it for her dental office because they wanted one there and that was more like dental office appropriate, I guess, that she liked. So um, she just bought me this one, which was $15 and so that she would, um, you know, like they're going to, her office is going to reimburse her for it and whatever. So she bought me this one. It's just the mosaic one. I don't really want to take it out, but I guess I can. It's not hard to take out. The only thing that concerns me about this is the fact that the lid part is just this clear dish. And I don't know why that bothers me. I feel like it's just going to get really hot. And I guess I worry about glass getting really hot. I mean, I'm sure this doesn't get that hot because it's with a light bulb, but I don't know. It makes me a little bit nervous. So this is what it looks like. It's just a really pretty mosaic looking one with the, the lid like that. And so you can see these are all circular up on the top and the bottom and then this middle part are those like, um, they're actually clear even though they look iridescent. They're, they're like iridescently clear, but I can see the light bulb through them in person and the light actually lights up this whole middle section. So I don't know if it's going to look dumb and it only lights up that middle section or if it'll still look good, but it's just pretty plain and um, I think like generally classy and nothing too... I don't know, nothing too crazy. Although I do really like the cute look. They had an owl one, and they had a really cute elephant one, and I tend to like those, but I think this will just be a little more classic, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of just boring like that, that I like the, like, plain, more simple looking ones, even though that's not plain or simple looking. Anyway, let's move on to the wax tarts. I have, um, a row of ten, and then four extra ones to show you, I did buy a sugar lavender twist, violet sugar, pink velvet, and a like lemon sugar cookie one for my younger sister, the one that bought this wax melter for me. I bought her those for her to melt because I thought that they were scents that she would like that she would normally not pick out for herself. So I bought those and gave them to her, but I'm not going to be showing you them in the haul because I already gave them to her. But um, I originally bought Sugar Lavender Twist in my last haul where I showed my wax, you know, my wax melts. And I bought three of these and I, I should have bought more. I thought I bought more, but I knew I wanted at least five and then one to burn right away. So I wanted like five as backups. I know that's insane. I don't need that much, but they're only two bucks a piece. So, I mean, come on. And it says they're limited edition. So I don't know if it's going to come back. And I really like this. I would, I... I would have smelled this just because I smelled like them all, but I don't know if I really would have like paid close attention to it if I hadn't seen Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom's video on how this smells like Aqualina Pink Sugar. It smells like Aqualina Pink Sugar perfume. If you know what that smells like, this is like the wax form of it. It's really great. It smells really good. So I bought three more of those so that I have six total, one to burn now and five to save as reserves because I'm sick like that. Same thing with my violet sugar that I like 
basically said was like a very close uh, Bath and Body Works pink petal tea cake dupe, and it is. It's it's just missing a slight bakery note that I think you could add like a sugar cookie or a cupcake or the vanilla cookie crunch, like one little um, cube to that would get to this would give it a bakery note. But anyway, I bought seven of those. I love pink petal tea cakes so much that I knew I wanted more, <laughs> and I don't know if this scent's gonna come back. So I bought three more so that I have ten total. I know that's sickening, but I like it enough to want it. I mean, pink petal tea cake is like one of my all-time favorite scents. I'm going to start coughing, so I need to pause this video for a second. We're going to keep going. I'm like coughing and my face is getting all red. Okay. Also in my first video, I got a blackberry cider. I think this was marked down to a dollar. Um, so I was going to get two more of these because I do really like this, but instead I bought four of them because they were only a dollar. So for I was going to spend four bucks and get two, and I just figured, you know, if I was planning on spending four, I'll just get four of them. This scent to me smells very oddly, very similar to Violet Sugar. This just smells like it has a little bit of a blackberry scent to it or like a berry. It's really weird because it smells oddly similar to Violet Sugar. If you find this, smell it next to Violet Sugar and tell me what you think because this is like a lighter version of it. I, I feel like they took this, this scent and just added something to it like a berry like a like a apple berry cider I don't know how to explain it because it's really hard to explain but it's very similar it's like a stronger version like they added something to it not bakery but um, like a berry scent um, so uh, yeah I got four of those I really like that scent and they were a dollar each. This was also a dollar. It was banana bread pudding. I only found one of these. Otherwise, I probably would have bought one more. At first, when I smell it, it smells like buttered popcorn. And the more I sit there and smell it, I can smell that banana. And then it really kind of comes out to me. It smells like banana bread pudding. Basically, I have hiccups now. If you have burned this or melted this, uh, let me know your opinion on it. Any of these scents. What do you guys think? Next one was only 50 cents. This came um, off a... I smelled this right away, you know, because I, I like apple and pumpkin together. But this came as a recommendation from a subscriber that told me this smells like Bath & Body Works uh, pumpkin apple. And it does. It smells really, really close to it. This is a really nice way to try that candle without having to buy it and commit. This was only 50 cents, you guys. That's so cheap. And like pumpkin apple is such a good scent, so this is awesome. I really like this. It's pumpkin apple with a little bit of spice. It's like if you were to make apple cider inside that pumpkin <laughs> and like add, add the spices, it's good. Next one I have is pink sugarberry. This one says limited edition too. This, if I wasn't into all those other scents, because this is in the same like realm of all that like sweet berry, sugary type scent. This would be one that I would be drawn to if I wasn't already obsessed with the other ones that I got, like the pink velvet. I want more of the pink velvet, but I think I have enough for now. This is like a sugary sweet berry. Berry scent. Like sugary sweet raspberries. That's what this smells like. So this smells really good. I'll probably, when I melt this, want more of it. So I should probably get it since it says limited edition. Do they really mean limited edition, or do they just say that so you buy it? Oh, I don't know. All right, next one is Ice Lemon Sugar Cookies. Had to go back and get this after Anthony from Candle Cafe did a review on it um, because he said he liked it better than the lemon pound cake one that I bought. And I bought that lemon pound cake one because I liked the pound cake scent to it. But I was going back and forth between these two, and they smelled so similar. But I liked the fact that I could smell lemon and pound cake in that one, where this one just smelled more like lemon to me. And I guess when it's burning, you can smell a cookie note. The problem is that a lot of sugar cookie scents or cookie scents in general to me smell like Play-Doh. And so I, I feel like when I smell or burn something that doesn't necessarily have that, I'm almost like looking for it um, and searching for it and trying to find it. So I'm just weird like that. But... Um, this looks like those like cheap cookies. You know, you know those cookies that someone always brings to like 
a work party or <laughs> um, a potluck or something and you eat them because they look like they're going to be really good but they taste really fakey. That's what this that's what this reminds me of. You still eat them. I still eat them. You just always hope for more and they just always taste the same. Um so yeah, I'm excited for that cuz I like lemon scents. So that's it. That's everything that I got. Um I do have a Candles by Victoria haul that I will be doing. I placed an order on St. Patrick's Day and um, for their dollar seventy-five cent shots, I bought a lot of them. I'm just forewarning you guys. I might have to make that into two parts because I bought a lot of them. I wanted the free shipping, and you have to spend a hundred dollars to get the free shipping. Um, that I, I'm gonna have like a mini rant in that about, and I hate to even rant about it because I love Candles by Victoria, but they added a rewards program and they kind of took away their coupons or like coupon codes, and they like rate kind of raise their prices of their, like their sales stuff so I haven't been shopping with them long enough to really know how good of the deals they used to have but a dollar 75 cent shots was to me not that great of a deal when I've seen their Instagram posts in the past be like for a dollar 20 a dollar 40 a dollar 60 and stuff like that a dollar 50 so I was really hoping for a dollar 50 cent shot sale and she said they're probably not going to do sales like that anymore. So I went back and forth like, well, then I'm not going to buy them because that, I don't know, it doesn't seem that great of a deal for me to have to spend $100 to get free shipping and then, you know, buy that many just to get scent shots. And I'll, I don't know why I'm making this into a rant. <laughs> I should be doing it in that video and I probably will again. But I don't know if you guys have bought from them. Let me know what your thoughts are on that because I don't think that's a great incentive to like, suddenly stop doing coupons like your company is popular on YouTube like very popular on YouTube and like yeah a little bit outside of it but like most people find that company on YouTube and to want to convince yourself to try those products in the first place the best thing for you to get is you know a discount so their new loyalty program is like you get points based on how much you buy and that's good for someone who's like a returning customer but not someone who's brand new I don't know um, but yeah, I could rant about that for a while and it would get me nowhere. So <laughs> let me know your thoughts about that if you have any interest in that. Sorry for rambling if you don't give a shit about that. Um, thumbs up this video if you like any of the stuff you saw. Comment down below any questions um, or comments about the scents. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.